Right. Um, welcome to another review on our channel. This is of the brand new, what would basically be the contractor version of this lawnmower, which is still adequate for the professional. Uh, this one will be like the new top spec one. Uh, it comes with a double battery pulp um, here. It's the LMX 5300SP. Ideally with this lawnmower, um, you should buy two of the 10 amp hour batteries and or two of the 12 amp hour batteries. Um, this is slightly different than the older models because you've got different modes. Basically if you stick it on two, that's the boost button, which will give you more power. Now ideally if you're using it on two, uh, you should have the tens or the 12 amp hour batteries in um, and then on eco is the least amount of power and then one just gives you the average and obviously this button controls the power and the blade speeds um, it's got bluetooth I haven't used the bluetooth because I felt no need really for using the bluetooth for myself um, this is to turn the light and the bluetooth on uh, that's to turn it off again this is the control system for the speed. Uh, obviously all the way there is full speed. All the way down goes to slow speed. It's got a little hair and a torx thing there to give you an idea as well. Um, the speed on this, because I am going to be comparing it to this model a lot through the whole, whole process, is that I think a lot of people, if they're looking at this model, uh, might be looking to buy this model instead or uh, they might be already have this one and wonder how this one's better and is it worth it so it will answer a couple of questions at the same time right so we will be comparing these but it will mainly be a review of this lawnmower and what it does but I'd like to let everybody know the differences to give them a better idea of what they're spending their money on and whether it's worth it because this lawnmower at the moment in the UK is selling for about 850 and to nine uh, to 900 pounds for that price you get a rapid charger and this seven and a half amp hour battery oh, obviously your one be a newer looking one if you buy it new and that comes in at 850 to 900 pound depending where you're buying it now with this lawnmower it's a lot more expensive this lawnmower bear I, everywhere seems to sell it for somewhere between 1150 and 1200 pounds so you're looking at about another three 350 pounds for a lawnmower with no battery and then once you have to buy batteries for them the ideal batteries with it are the 10 or 12 hour amp hour batteries so you're looking at about 850 to a thousand pounds for the batteries and then you're gonna to have to buy chargers for them as well it ends up costing a lot more money obviously when I bought this model I've already got um, batteries for this I had a battery for that so I'm using my seven and a half amp hour batteries that I've already got. I've been using four, and, four amp hour batteries and five amp hour batteries in this lawnmower. Now, ideally, you should have two batteries in this lawnmower at any one time. But, just to show it does still work, it's not, it's obviously not advisable. This is a two and a half amp hour battery, so this is a lot weaker than, than you should use. But just to show you that um, when you, when you do use the lawnmower it will still work with one battery it doesn't matter if it's in both pulls. so if you pull the, the thing down it will start with only one battery however with this machine you you have to press it on to activate it then you have to press it in again to start it with this lawnmower, you just press it in and then pull and it starts immediately. So that's a slight difference. So if you're going from this and all the first time you use it, if you don't turn it on, let go of it and then press it again with that, it's not going to start. So that's another thing to bear in mind just because the first time I went to use it, it took me like maybe two or three minutes. Maybe no one else have that problem, but I had that problem, so I thought I'd, I'd mention it. 
in terms of the positives of this lawnmower, which there are many, um, firstly, um, I really like the big wheels on it. Uh, it doesn't sink in the ground easily, obviously. Um, and when you're going over rough ground, or you're going over areas that might have little rabbit holes and other things, having that wider base and a higher wheel means it's less likely to get stuck in. If we do actually do a comparison with the um, with that lawnmower, if I put the wheels next to each other, it's quite it's quite obvious. It's now very obvious that you're far less likely to end up getting stuck in a rabbit hole while you're pushing it along, especially on self-repel, because if you're going quite fast at self-repel and you do smash in, hit a rabbit hole, then you smash your body into the lawnmower, which isn't very comfortable. So that's that's a really nice feature on it. And to do with the speed on it, this is uncomfortably fast to walk behind. It's top setting is very quick. So if you're somewhere where it's quite dry all the time and you drop it or your grass doesn't grow that quick so you can you can just whiz over back and forth back and forth this lawnmower will be an awful lot quicker than this lawnmower. I would imagine you could probably cut in the same amount of time double the amount of grass with this lawnmower than you could this especially if you're dropping it and then with the added bonus you can put two batteries in there at the same time and if you are dropping it then you're not swapping batteries either so it will be a lot lot quicker so if you if you're considering just speed getting round you live in a very sort of hot dry place and you drop it uh, this lawnmower will save you a lot of time to the point if you're fit enough young enough uh, to walk behind it this will probably do a decent job even compared to a small ride-on if you want to go electric compared to buying a electric ride on because there's not really a second hand options or very few second hand options especially good ones um, this would actually be an awful lot cheaper in terms of other positives it's obviously got the aluminium frame um, so it's built to last it's very strong and it has obviously got the protection there at the front in case you hit something it's got protection in front of the front uh, there as well so well you are traveling quicker uh, you also if you do hit something you've got that nice bit of protection there as well so I'll just turn the light off I didn't realize I still had it on so it's obviously it's built to last more than the plastic lawnmower but in terms of the composite base of the other lawnmower I've now been using it commercially for over four years and the machine just keeps going and going and going domestic wise this is easily up to what 25 30 years old it's obviously not in mint condition but it's barely had any problems so if you're planning on buying it domestically and thinking one will it last should i go for this because this other model's built stronger obviously this model's probably going to last 100 years it is ridiculously well built whereas this um like for the amount i've used it i would say it's got easily for uh, 30 years m maybe even more uh, domestically so i'll just go through some of the positives with both of them uh if you're looking from going from gas or petrol depending where you're from um major positives again both lawnmowers so i'll cover both at the same time um firstly when you swap the batteries over unlike pouring fuel in you can't spill the fuel and mark your grass so that's like you're not going to spill fuel on there servicing for this is virtually non-existent like no servicing costs at all There's certain things you have to do protect your batteries if it's too hot or too cold don't leave them somewhere too hot don't leave them too cold they like to be in a happy medium so put them in the house over winter or summer depending where you are if you're in a very hot state or part of the world then try and protect them against the heat and next thing which is part of servicing because you could end up having to service it if you mess up with these long mowers if you need to get to the blade underneath gets jammed you can just turn them on their side like so you've got no fuel you've got no oil so you've got no worries that anything's going to happen if you turn them over um, so you can just flip it straight on this side without even thinking 
you know you're not going to spill oil or petrol so again that's another positive but obviously that goes for both lawnmowers so again that's another positive about having this lawnmower a couple of negatives from this one to that one because I, i've obviously said the wheels are better on this one um obviously this is slower as well so again that's a negative that's got more of a a variable speed as well which is a positive on this a positive um, on this machine firstly um the adjustable handle although this is built stronger with this to adjust it that's the lowest that's the highest now on this one i won't take up too much of the video so i won't undo it completely but basically have to undo this i won't undo it all the way and have to undo the other side then you have to lift it up on the handle and then you have to tighten it again with this one in particular which is another big positive um, if you drop the handle all the way and you're cutting underneath a trampoline i can normally get most of this lawnmower straight underneath a trampoline uh, so so i tend to have both of them in the van at the same time because this does some jobs a lot better this is more maneuverable because it is lighter uh, like this is this is obviously heavier than this one which i've put as the original one um but in, in terms of moving it around um there's not really any difference you watch one hand just how easily that moves about because it is on the lower thing you see like that's nice and easy now with the maneuverability on this one it is a lot heavier like it's still you can still move it but you can tell it's got a lot more weight to it and if you suddenly want to move it across a bit it's definitely it's pulling a lot this well it's putting a lot more effort into move it it's not impossible um, but you definitely know that you've got a lot heavier machine because it is heavier it's less likely to bounce so if you're trying to cut your lawn at a very nice neat level try and get it absolutely perfect you're you're less likely to suddenly go up or down with that lawnmower because of the added weight again there's no such thing as absolute perfection with one thing you gain another thing you lose so like you, you have to work out what what suits you better and obviously your budget if your budget is absolute maximum budget to pay like especially in the uk to pay, or, or europe because they don't tend to do packages in europe and you see it advertised online and it's 11.50 and you buy it um, for that price you would expect a battery it hasn't got a battery so i'd like to be very very clear in as far as i know in the uk we don't have a single battery option and there's a couple of companies that are selling online and a couple of italian sites i see selling in europe that do a package but it's still around 2000 euros so if you are buying buying this mower it's definitely well a lot more expensive than buy, buying the other one you're getting quality you're getting a very good cut um you're getting a very strong base like it is literally built like a tank and the fact that it is battery and you haven't got the engines to service you haven't got oil filters you haven't got an air filter like moving forwards although it starts off more expensive than even buying a petrol equivalent because you haven't got potentially if you don't well if you're not doing it yourself uh you haven't got the charges and if you are doing it yourself you haven't got the time service in it like i'm filming today and all my lawnmowers are dirty because i want to clean them and every time i end up cleaning them i've cleaned them and then i'm tired and then i don't end up doing a review so i'm filming with a mucky obviously it shows i've been using them so i think that covers everything like i'm not going to wander it back and forth i'm not going to show you cutting along this is literally just a a review that you're going through sort of how it works in terms of cut this is a tiny bit bigger but there's not a lot in it in terms of speed it is literally just the fact it moves so much quicker than this lawnmower this lawnmower is a leisurely leisurely cut this lawnmower is almost a jog uh, the bag has an added bit there whereas that one doesn't so it's got a little clip there so when you are pulling it out you haven't got um so much chance for grass falling out if you are bagging it uh in terms of side discharge i've used side discharge on 
long grass and it, it side discharges quite well i haven't got the side discharge bit with me at the moment and i won't be showing it um, but with the power i have from running it with the two seven and a half amp power on the medium setting or the fives or a four i've found a power easily sufficient to run on two and the only times it's really been bottoming out is when i've hit a couple of amp mounts it hasn't been due to the grass being too long however when i did cut long grass which was probably up to about four and a half feet it was very dry so i couldn't state that it works perfectly on very wet long grass because normally nothing works well on very long wet grass so i would say the performance from that from actually side discharge is it's in a different league so if you're going to be cutting field grass it's going to be long uh side your side discharging it and you've got possibilities of rabbit holes the difference in the price is absolutely if you can afford it 100 percent that is your better mower so the only other negative because of the weight is that i can i can quite easily fold it up uh, as i'll show which you can't do and obviously it's quick and pick it up and put it in a van whereas I'm not going to try picking it up and putting it in a van because if I can manage it once I won't be doing anything for the, for the rest of the week because I would definitely do my back in uh, so obviously if you've got a work van and you're planning on putting it in a van you're either going to need a ramp or you're going to need to, to find some way or have a helper to get it in the van um, like if I haven't got a helper I can adjust the wheels here so it's on the highest setting and then I adjust the wheel here so it's on the highest setting and I can actually put it on the bumper of my van and roll it into my van on my own um, it depends on the vehicle you've got the size of the bumper that you bumper on the vehicle um whether you can do that and how strong you are like i'm not suggesting that's a great idea i'm just saying if i haven't got anyone with me i can do that i'm not suggesting that you personally do it i'll say it's more of a if you get stuck it's a possible option but don't don't sue me if you have an accident trying to do it because it's not a very sensible idea ideally have one person here one hand there on the other person and lift it together like that all right i think that covers everything in the review as i say there won't be many pretty pictures of longs walking back and forth you want to watch that there is a few other things on youtube but i wanted to give an open and honest review i paid for the thing 100 percent with my own money the same as this the same as that there's a lot of things i really like about this there's a lot of things i really like about this um hopefully if you are deciding to upgrade it gives you an idea of the differences if you are deciding whether you want to buy this one or that one it gives you obviously it gives you a good idea of the differences and if you're sort of looking at the ego brand as a whole and you're thinking what are their lawnmowers like it gives you a bit of a taster of what their lawnmowers are like obviously they do smaller equivalents of this they don't do a bigger equivalent of that uh, this is the as far as I know, especially in the UK market, this is the only aluminium based lawnmower they do of any size. Um, if you want to leave a comment, any questions you're not sure about, anything that you want me to add, um, anything that yeah you haven't quite understood with how the lawnmower goes, yeah, if you leave a comment, I'm happy to um, get back to you, um, give you any information. So anyway, um, thanks for watching the video. If you get a chance to subscribe, like, um, rip bell something like that anyway all right thanks a lot for watching the video and um i'll try and start adding a few more up soon with some other things as well thank you